Hey guys, today's video is super fun. I'm going to show you how to create your own custom gifts and how to add these to your Instagram stories. So the tool that we're going to use first is called Canva. This is a fantastic software for any type of design that you need in your business. So what you're going to do is go to canva.com and set yourself up with an account if you haven't done that yet. And then once you're logged in, this is what you will see. From here, go over to the left and click create a design, then custom dimensions, and you can just do 1000 by 1000 pixels, so PX, and hit create design. Okay, great, so this is our canvas here. What's cool about Canva is it comes equipped with all these different templates on the left side that we can use. So feel free to scroll through these to practice and create your first GIF. So, for example, I like this one right here, so I'm going to click on that and make a GIF from this. So with any element in Canva, you can simply click on it and customize it. So if I click on this one here, you'll see that I have an editing bar across the top to customize it. So here I could change the font, here I could change the size, the color, you get the idea. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to change this um, I'm actually gonna leave the style settings as is, but I'm gonna change it to say hello. So all I need to do is double click on it and then type in hello. Then you'll see that there's text below it. At any point you can delete an element, simply click on it and hit the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, so we've done that. And then we have these three triangles. Okay, great. So any element in Canva, you can pick it up and place it where you want. So simply click, hold it down and move it and you can move it into position. So I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to put the logo right under it. So basically what we have to do is build out the phases of our GIF. So this would be phase one. Then I'm going to click right up here where it says copy page. Click on that. Okay, so now we have two different pages. So this is how the GIF is going to start. And this is where it's going to move to. So now we need to decide what movement we want. So I think it would be cool if they kind of just moved a little bit. So I'm going to take the yellow one and you'll see this little double arrows. Move those around like that. So I'm just rotating each of the different arrows. Okay, but again, this can totally be custom. Like there's a million different things you could do for your GIF. Okay, so I'm happy with it going from that to that. So now what you need to do is click on this arrow up top here and make sure that you have the file type PNG and transparent background. So important note for this, you will need to use the paid version of Canva in order to get this feature, or you can sign up for the free 30 day trial. So I'm gonna hit download. The Canva Pro plan is amazing though and has so many features that make it worth it. So I highly recommend it. Okay, awesome. So now we have a zip file. We're going to click on that and open it up. Okay, so I'm gonna click on that folder. And as you can see, we have phase one and phase two of our GIF. Now the reason we had to do the transparent background was so that there wasn't any color around our GIF and that it's just these elements here. Okay, so the next tool we're going to use is gifmaker.me. Now you're going to click upload images, select both of them and hit open. Okay, great. So as you can see, you can get a preview of our GIF in the making. Pretty cute, right? Here's where you can control the canvas size. So we currently have it at just 100 by 100 pixels, but you can increase or decrease that if you want. Then we have animation speed. So it's currently here. If I wanted to speed it up, I drag it over to the left. A little too fast. <laughs> if I want to slow it down, I move it over to the right. And a little too slow. So I like where they had had it. Let's go a bit faster. Okay, let's settle on that. And then you're just going to leave everything else as is. Come down here and click Create GIF Animation. Awesome, then scroll down a bit. All you need to do is click View the GIF. And as you can see, there is our completed GIF. So pretty awesome. Then in order to add this to your Instagram, you need to click download the GIF, okay? And you need to send this over to your phone. So whenever I'm sending something over to my phone, I like to click on it, 
hit share and airdrop it to myself. I'm on a Mac, but if you're on a PC, just make sure that you can get it to your phone. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, my phone has come up, so I'm gonna click on that to send it to myself. I do have a video on airdropping, so I'll link to that in the description below. Awesome, so once it is sent to my phone, that means that I can use it in my Instagram story. So back to Canva for a second. So really there is so much more that you can do with this, have fun with it and move the elements around however you want. So let's do another example where we move things around a little bit more. I'm gonna click on this one right here. Okay, I'm gonna delete this bottom page and then I'm going to make a copy. Okay, so phase one is going to be this. Now phase two, let's say we line them all up. So if you click on the elements and they are all connected, simply click ungroup and that will separate them for you. So I'm gonna put them all in a straight line. Okay, move them all down. Okay, so we'll go from there to in a line and also, you know, feel free to get creative. Like we could change the color of all of these as well. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate the colors. And add a yellow. <laughs> okay, cool. So we have our two phases. So I'm going to hit the arrow and download all of them with a transparent background. So here's another example of what that would look like. So have fun with this and I cannot wait to see your gifts. So for all my entrepreneurs out there, this is a really great way of adding more branding to your stories. So for example, I recently launched an Asana course called Up Level with Asana. So what we did was create a bunch of custom gifts saying level up, right? That I could add to my promotional stories about that course. So we have this one here, and this one, and this one here. So hopefully all of these inspire you for what you could create. And now I'm going to show you how to add these to your stories. So before I figured out this hack, I thought that you had to go through the whole process of submitting this to the website Giphy so that it would show up as a sticker within Instagram itself but I had nothing but problems with this. And even though I could get them uploaded to Giphy, they wouldn't actually show up within the Instagram app. So this is my workaround. Okay, so now I'm going to create an Instagram stories. Let's just keep it super simple and do a boomerang. Um, can't think of what to do, so I'm just gonna dance a little. Okay, that'll, that'll work for demo purposes, okay? So we have our boomerang story and now I'm going to add that custom GIF. So I'm gonna open up my folder on my phone where I store all of my branded elements. Okay, so let's pick one. So I'm just gonna click on this icon, bottom left, then I'm gonna click copy photo, go back into Instagram and then click add story. And as you can see, it has added that custom GIF to my story. And now I can make it bigger if I would like and move it around simply by dragging it on screen. And if I wanna make it bigger, I need to like do that with my fingers. <laughs> and that is how you create a custom GIF and add it to your Instagram story. So I think this is really going to take your Instagram stories to a whole other level and I can't wait to see it. All right guys, so that is how to create your own custom gifts and then how to add them to your Instagram stories. I would love to see what you create, so tag me in your stories. I'm at Louise Henry, and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so below, and I'll see you soon with another video.